everybody, I'm back with this, my third book review in the Chronicle of Nick series called, the book is called Infamous, as you can see. It's written by Sherilyn King slash McQueen. She's trying to go back to her um, maiden name, issues, whatever. So if you've never read one of these books, I will tell you, this is the third book. You definitely need to read the books in order. So if you're thinking about reading them, start with this book right here. Infinity. This is the fir first book. Sorry, there's a glare. And then you would move on to Invincible. Yes, it is important to read these books in order. That's why I'm telling you this. Now, the um, background of the book is Nick is a poor kid. He's growing up hard. He is uber intelligent, loyal to his friends, uber loyal to his mother and life just beats the crap out of Nick like you feel for the kid but he's uber sassy he takes in a stride and he's got a mouth like oof sometimes mm, I can just imagine what he be really wanting to say but other than that spoilers are coming because I cannot do a review without spoiling it that's just me so um in this book, Nick's hanging with his friend Caleb, with his, you know, girlfriend Dakota, and weird things are starting to happen in his school. Like, his friend Brianna, someone put lewd pictures of her up for the whole school to see. Then the same person started telling people's secrets, blah, 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 blah. And you know how that goes in high school. I'm not going to try to spoil too much. Nick is like, yo, I know that's not my friend Brianna. I know she's not like that. What is going on? Well, because of the situation at school, Nick kind of lands himself in a little bit of trouble. Now, Nick is a half demon. His father's a Malak Malachi. Malachi. I always say it wrong. Um... And you see more of his father in this book than you do in any other book, I believe. And his father is just... I don't even know what to say. I want to say he's a jerk. But considering how he was raised, you can't blame the guy. Like, Nick's whole bloodline is... They have a saying. They are... Made in violence. What is it? I cannot remember the quote. Dang it. Hold on. Let me find it. Of course I can't find the quote, but it's something like this. They're, the Malik Chais are conceived in violence to do violence. Like, they're supposed to be, like, the big dog of all the demons. And when you read about his father, you completely get that. You're like, yo, this guy does not have any kind of things. But then you would think, well, if he's so bad, why is Nick so good? We don't know. I'm not going to spoil everything for you. But issues happen. And it's just all people's secrets are coming out. Everyone's fighting. And it's just ridiculous. I will say this. Nick's mom in this book did upset me. Because of the way she just is so hard on Nick. She's like, I don't want you to fight. I don't want you to fight. You need to, you know, don't do this. Don't do like she's just like uber hard on the boy. And I'm like, you got a good kid. Like even glimpses of, you know, at one point she goes, you know, you know, Nick, you're a better kid than I deserve. I know that. But then she turns right around again and she just verbally. This is what my mama used to say. Girl, you got a tongue full of razor blades coming out your mouth. Because his mom is just like, sh -sh 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 -sh. and I'm like, dang, I would feel horrible if she came at me like that. Like, I don't even know if I would like her. But Nick loves his mom because he knows that she loves him. I will say, I did enjoy the book. I like the character development. I like where the book series is going. I will say this, not all the books in the series are going to be like, oh my god, they're my favorite. But you got to remember, this is like an eight book series, I believe. And then she's having another four 
of a kind of like sub series of this and then I believe another four after that so these books are very character driven and it's kind of detailed to where I need to know what's going on so I definitely recommend reading them I know this review sucks but I don't want to give too much away I will say I love the side characters that this woman writes like I want books for all the side characters like um Bubba and Mark I would love to see a side story with them or have them come in more I would love a side story with Nick's mom and his dad because I know there's something interesting there I can't pinpoint it but I know um and of course I would love a book for the heifer goddess Artemis. If you've read the Dark Hunter series, which Nick Chronicles Nick, it's kind of like a young adult spinoff series of the Dark Hunter series. You know what I'm talking about. It's Artemis, and one of the characters call her a heifer goddess. <laughs> but she's actually one of my favorite characters because I just like, mm, there's something there. Like, I get so invested in side characters, it's ridiculous. But Chronicles of Nick, book three, Infamous, is very good. It is worth the read. And like I said, don't think you're gonna get a lot of action all the time action does come but not in all the books this book was just basically for nick to kind of realize more of who he is on the inside what he has to do to curb certain traits that he has and that's basically what these books are about nick's learning to use his demonic powers and how to stay on the good side and not let his demonic powers completely take him over that's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say any more. I'm trying to get better at book reviews, but I don't even know if that'll ever happen. So, all right, guys. Have a good one. Bye.